This cool little gun is interesting to me as it's kind of departure from the norm. And I'm, I'm excited for this gun. I'm excited to try it out and actually throw it into my carry conceal uh, rotation and uh, hopefully get a lot of good use out of this gun. This is a Beretta 3032 Tomcat chambered in 32 ACP. So the 32 round has been around forever and it's a smaller round. It's smaller than the 380. Uh, it has a lot of popularity in the carry conceal circles out there, especially for the folks that like the small, tiny little guns such as this. The 32 is probably the lowest center fire that I'd want to go for reliable uh, self-defense. And now I have carried a 22 for rim fire, but uh, for the center fire, the 32 is as low as I want to go. I know there's a 25 automatic out there, but that uh, just doesn't have enough oomph. I'd rather carry a 22 rimfire versus the 25 uh, auto if I had a choice between those two. But uh, the 32 caliber, the ACP, it still is popular and it will still do its job. With that said, a little side note about the 32, you want to make sure to carry full metal jacket out of a gun like this. And the reason is uh, you get a 30 or excuse me, a 71 or 73 grain full metal jacket, you'll get the penetration needed to be reliable in a self-defense encounter. There are lots of hollow points out there, but typically they fail to uh, penetrate to adequate depth out of these short, tiny little barrels. So it's one or the other. You're going to get either expansion or penetration. I'm choosing penetration. I want penetration. And sometimes these guns can be finicky with ammo. Full Metal Jacket is the best overall as far as reliability of feeding and everything. Um, so I'm just going to go with that. Uh, more to follow on that but I, I think i'm just gonna stick with full metal jacket and keep it simple it's kind of a departure for me because i'm a big hollow point nut when it comes to carry i like to have a good hollow point but um uh, with a round such as such as the 32 with a tiny little barrel i'm just gonna go with that uh on that note speaking of bullet weights and rounds a little side note for these beretta tomcats if you read the manual they recommend uh around 71 grains and they're looking at uh, foot pounds of 130 or less for shooting on this gun you can shoot more a higher uh, foot pounds energy round but it's going to lead to increased wear and tear so there are some in fact i do have some fiocchi 73 grain and i believe that's 155 uh, foot pounds so i may have the fiocchi what is in this right now is umc just a 71 grain those are sitting around 130-ish pounds, I believe. Uh, the Fiocchi 73 grain is, uh, this 71 grain, the 73 grain Fiocchi is right around 155, a little bit more. So I might shoot that a little bit just to get a good print on the target to see how it shoots out of this and then save that for my self-defense ammo. Something just a little bit hotter. So uh, that's where I'm going with it. So this gun is a little bit different manual arms than what you're used to in the smaller guns out there now first off i get it for the price of this you can get other guns and i totally agree you can get yourself into a p365 a hellcat there's a lot of different guns out there that you can get into uh, this is more just for style and just something different so this isn't going to be the end-all be-all as far as self-defense guns go but this is a small gun very concealable uh this thing does have a tip-up barrel right here so you load with the tip-up barrel lock it into place it does have a manual safety right here safety on safety off it is a double action single action so basically tip up the barrel load around close the barrel load a full magazine gives you eight rounds all you have to do is sweep the safety off and fire your first double action shot this does not have an extractor, and this is an important safety thing. If you think that you're going to pull the magazine out or you're just going to clear the chamber by pulling the slide back, it will not clear, even if the magazine's out. You take this source of ammunition out, you're going to have a round in the chamber. You try and reciprocate the slide, the round will not come out. So what you have to do is you have to use the tip-up barrel pluck that round out, ensure the barrel is clear, then close it. That's an important safety tip with these little things, and you'll uh, learn that by reading the manual. I know it's boring stuff, and some people say don't read the manual. No, read the manual. If you buy a firearm, read the manual. It helps you learn the quirks about the firearm. 
Another quirk about this firearm is right here, the magazine release. It's in a weird spot, but it's actually a good spot. For something small as this, if the magazine release was here, uh, you'd probably uh, be pushing it. And instead of going with the European style, the old school European style heel magazine releases, they put the button right here, which actually makes it a good spot for your support hand to come in and hit. And with these bigger fingers, you can see I'm not engaging it. And with my support hand, I'm not going to touch that button at all. So it's actually a good little spot. Pretty decent for uh, engineering as far as Beretta's part. So this gun, I mean, you're looking around $600-ish. You could probably find it for a little bit cheaper. Uh, it's not a cheap gun. It, again, it's a, it's, it's a gun that you just want. If you're looking for practicality only, I would steer you away from this and say, no, man, get a Hellcat, get a SIG P365, get a Taurus uh g3 or uh you know something like that get something a little bit better but again this thing's got style points and i look forward to shooting it so first impressions as far as quality wise it's a little bit chunky um but not overall it's it's pretty easy to carry and my method of carry is going to be pocket carry with this i do have a holster i did this get this on a trade deal and uh Mainly because I'm like, you know what? I want a small Beretta to go with my full-size Beretta. But I do have a leather holster and inside the waistband. But uh, I want to find a good pocket holster for this and carry it pocket holster style and just go with that. And uh, I think I'll be happy with that. It's small enough to do so. So overall, good gun, good quality. It's just interesting. It's a departure from what I normally have. So I look forward to having some fun with it. So... Uh, Provide your thoughts. The Tomcats, again, they have this neat little following, and there's a lot of people that really like these things, and there's a lot of people that hate them. So provide your thoughts in the section below. As always, stay safe out there.